The Moon Ark is a very small museum headed to the moon in 2021, intended to last for thousands of years and to be discovered by future humans. The Moon Ark is comprised of four different chambers. The first chamber is devoted to earthly things, and it's about our natural context. The next chamber is the metasphere, which speaks to our communication structures and everything basically between the surface of the Earth and the surface of the Moon. We have the Moon Chamber, and that looks at the Moon as artistic muse across time and cultures. And then the Ether Chamber, and that looks at the existential things in life that we don't quite fully understand. So it speaks to infinities and concepts of the great beyond. It really pushed the boundaries of certain fabrication techniques. And so we had a lot of learning, as did the manufacturers. When you offer the moon as a potential destination, people step up. They're real excited to help out and to try to push the boundaries of what they're able to do. I called every metal um, 3D printing facility in the country, so they all said it was impossible. And the last place I called was a small outfit in Indianapolis, and they said, yeah, we can do that. And it was a leap of faith, but they were willing to try it. And so having that sort of like creative spirit for this project to initiate that with fabricators, uh, I think was pretty special. The initial reason we, we thought that it would be a good component to send to the moon is to add cultural payload. And so how do you represent the arts in a largely scientific expedition? And so the concept of the moon art being a repository of information and interesting bits of Earth and humanity give you a view of humanity today. A snapshot that we can send forward in time to allow future humans to learn something about us today and what this pioneering mission is all about, as inclusive as it can be from the sciences, the technologies, and now with the arts and humanities.